Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So in this one, I'm going to show you my top six picks for products in the baby slash children's niche. These are six products based on my own opinion. As a father of two boys under two, I'm going to give you my top six picks for products that I believe have a genuine use case solving of a problem, if that makes sense. To be honest, putting this list together is basically a shopping list from my wife. Um, she knows what I do for a living and yet she still continues to buy products from Facebook ads, from drop shipping stores. So there's a few products in this list that are gonna make a feature uh, that she's actually purchased, which gave me the idea to actually include them in this video. Without any further ado then, there's not a lot more to say, so let's jump straight into it. First things first is this Montessori sensory board. We actually do have one of these things and my He's two and two months, so he's 22 months old and he absolutely loves this thing. He has a slightly different variation, but it's basically the same thing. It's a wooden board that you put batteries in the back and there's different switches and light bulbs and colors and things like that. And he absolutely loves it. So let me play the video in the background so you can see exactly what it is. Products like this, um, the perspective I'm coming from too is from a Facebook ads perspective. It's where my expertise lies, where I've been advertising now for 2016. It was July 2016, so I think that's eight years to the month. Um, it's where my expertise lies, where I spend 95% of my marketing budget. So when I am looking at products, I'm looking basically at what the ideal Facebook market um, would think of them. Facebook's users is an aging demographic. So basically I'm thinking, would a grandparent buy this product? Yes, a grandparent would buy this product. What grandparent doesn't want to spoil their children or buddy at their grandchildren? What we can also see as well from the real orders trends, all of these products I'm gonna show you today as well are like that. They are spiking and increasing in popularity. They are not products that are coming out of season. They're products that are coming into season. They're also products that genuinely solve a problem, whether it's educational or developing motor skills like this, or whether it's solved in boredom, but we'll cover those as we come to those type of products. So nearly half a million dollars in sales, not to be ignored. There's loads of different variations of this. The other thing I will say as well, I can pretty much guarantee there's gonna be some products in this video that you won't have seen before. So make sure you stay tuned all the way through. So the product cost is $15.92, selling price is $29. I think that's about right. Um, I think that's quite expensive for the cost of this. Definitely do your research. There's different variations of this across AliExpress, across CJ Dropshipping. Try and find one a bit cheaper so you can bump up those profit margins. A profit margin of $13 is gonna make things a bit tight. Moving on to product number two, we have this baby carrier, multifunctional. Trust me, the I became so good at arm wrestling when I had kids because you literally spend hours on a daily basis just holding a child in your arm, building up that static strength um, through the night as well when you just haven't got it in you to do that. A product like this is brilliant. That would definitely be my marketing angle. It would be a mother in a dark room which would indicate that it's in the middle of the night, um, that's tired and struggling, and then you would present this product as a way of solving those problems, making it easier to hold and comfort your child when you're tired or when it's late at night, whatever it may be. Um, it's also a brilliant product, of course, not just for a night time, but during a day. So you can literally just perch them on that seat and rest them there while you go about your day, whether you're making cups of tea, cooking dinner, it allows you to basically comfortably support and hold your toddler um, whilst you're still doing other things to keep another hand free. So you can still do the housework or whatever it may be. A brilliant, brilliant product. Again, there's many different variations of this. We can see it's in an upward spike as well in terms of its order trend. This is a product that is not going away. This is a product that more and more people will jump on and will make a success of. So just make sure that if you do pick this one, make sure you do things properly. Invest in some, some proper UGC content. Try and get a real mother with a child demonstrating all the different use cases and bigging it up talking about how good this product actually is the product is priced at seven dollars and 31 selling for forty dollars i think that's about right um, a common question people will ask me will be how do i price my product should it be 2x 3x 4x there's no golden rule for any particular product um, other than the more the better you should always price your products too based on the problem that they solve not on what their actual like material or manufacturing value is a product like this trust me that could help make a parent's life easier they'd be willing to spend a lot of money a lot more than forty dollars so what i tend to advise people is 
start as low as you can while still maintaining a 20 to 30 dollar profit margin establish some traction so you get plenty of conversions coming through you start to season your pixel see some consistency and some traction and once you've established that start bumping up the price just five dollars at a time every couple of weeks keep an eye on that conversion rate as long as it stays where it's at you're essentially converting the same amount of people and yet you're making more money. When the conversion rate starts to come down, then you need to bring your price down to bring your conversion rate back up. And basically just kind of find that sweet spot where you're converting as high as possible and making as much profit as possible too. Speaking of people that I work with, um, I just want to very quickly take a minute to let you know that I do have a space in my mentorship program um, for August. If you're looking to work with somebody with experience, perhaps take one of these products I'm about to show you and turn it into a viable and profitable business, then I want to invite you to jump on a Google Meet call with me this week, if not next week. If you have a look in the video description below this video, you'll see a mentorship call link. It'll take you through to a series of questions. It takes two or three minutes to answer. It's basically, to be completely upfront and honest, it's like a gatekeeping process to keep the time wasters out. Um, I only wanna work with the people who are serious and committed to dropshipping and genuinely want to build a legitimate business. So if that is you, take the two or three minutes to fill out the questions. It'll let me see where you're at now, what your goals are for the next one, two or three months. And if they are realistic and I think I can help you achieve them, it'll take you through to my calendar where you'll be able to book a time and date for us to have a chat in a bit more detail and see what's what. Back to the video then, let's take a look at product number three. Let's play the video for this one. What's really good about this is not only is it an awesome product, um, it will obviously come shrink wrapped too, so cheap and fast to ship. It's the sort of product that somebody's gonna buy more than one of, so you could probably sell it in like a pack of five or maybe even a pack of 10. It's a super cheap product, but the benefits it gives, keeping your kids active, keeping them occupied, um, interacting, having fun, Again, you price a product based on what it can do, not what it actually is. It's a cheap product, only 171, but a parent would pay 30, 40, $50 for a pack of these to see their children running around, being active, doing exercise and having fun. Look at the order trends too, on an upward spike in popularity. This is a product that people like, it's a people people enjoy, um, and it's a product that people are most importantly are buying. Nearly $800,000 in sales, so not to be ignored. This is a brilliant, brilliant product. You could potentially build a one product store, um, one product brand around this too. So definitely a product worth its consideration, given the time of year as well with this currently being in summer. If you have experience building stores, definitely consider this one. Definitely try and get something up and running as soon as possible. Okay, moving on to the fourth product. This is a cheaper product for the lower end of the market for those people who don't have the confidence or perhaps the design skills to build something for a more expensive product. We can see that all the trends are going up. Um, it's only a $2 cost, selling price of $15. What I would actually do is probably bundle these into a pack of maybe five or 10 just to bump up that selling price so you can maintain that profit margin of $20 or $30. What is that basically? Um, as a parent, you will forever be carrying bags after bags after bags, especially if you've gone out on a day out into town to do shopping or gone to your super local supermarket to do shopping. Um, you'll forever never have enough hands to carry everything you need. These are brilliant. They take the load off and it allows you to safely and securely without damaging your pram or your stroller. Um, and these ones are leather as well, so they're a bit more premium. You can put them on the handles and then hang your bags on there. Of course, just make sure you make it clear that common sense would tell a parent that if you put too many bags on there, your child will end up looking at the looking at the sky, but that's for the consumer to obviously use their common sense so that doesn't happen. I think it's a brilliant product. It definitely solves a real problem. It's one that could be marketed relatively simple too. Um, a simple kind of like parent in distress trying to hold all these bags falling over and falling to their knees, crippling on the ground. Obviously you have to over accentuate things and over exaggerate things for impact. And then you can present this product as the solution and show a pram that potentially has like five or six bags on it. And somebody clearly really happily on a bright sunny day, pushing their pram, looking all smug, that sort of thing. Um, it's like I said, you have to kind of over exaggerate things um, over emotionally to get people hooked and interested in watching the creative. So that would be my angle for this product. Moving on to product number five, 
brilliant product. First and foremost, order of numbers are going up. Secondly, it helps develop children's fine motor skills. This is a proven past winning product, but it's a variation on it. So instead of having like a pure focus on like hardware and tools, this has like, um, well, you can see it allows them to create animals using the same thing. So it's a battery powered drill with all these different bits and it allows them to make objects, whether it's people, whether it's animals, instead of it just being kind of like a tool set um, type product, which was the proven past winner. So it's a variation of a proven past concept. It's in a great position price wise too. At $16, it's not a cheap crappy product. It's a decent product that you could easily sell for, well, the average here is $50. So it maintains a very good profit margin of at least $30. There's plenty of opportunity here too for cross sales and upsells for different packages and different bundle offers where you could add in another drill for somebody who has two kids. You could add in more screws, a bigger base, different shapes so you can create different things. Um, just make sure you order one of these things yourself, check it out, make sure it's legit and ideally you want it to come with some instructions too so when it does arrive then the child has some guidance in terms of the things that they can create um, and the parent can use to demonstrate to them as well. Um, a brilliant product, it solves a real problem um, and keeps kids interactive, having fun and developing those fine motor skills and more importantly off a screen grandparents do not want to see their grandchildren just glued to a screen they want to see them doing things with their hands and smiling last but certainly not least we have these flip-flops slippers what do you want to call them the usp here that makes them sellable that makes them undesirable from people is the fact that they light up um, kids will love these. Uh, they'll fall in love with anything that lights up, especially with different patterns. You can get ones with unicorns on, whether the video will show it or not. Um, it's a sort of thing just again to keep your kids interacted and interested and it's just something different from the normal slipper um, or flip-flop or sandal or slider that you can typically buy. At nearly half a million sales, million dollars in sales as well it goes without saying that people are buying these things and again look at the orders trends for this they're on a massive spike um, upwards this is 100 percent a product that people are wanting to buy for their kids it's not a product either that's like been that's very competitive on any social platform so to jump on this now you're definitely going to be one of the first people which is always a good ingredient for a successful business if you can be one of the first people advertising something so when they see it they've not seen it anywhere else before then it can only be a positive thing for your business and so with that being said guys i'm going to wrap the video up there thank you very much for watching before you go if you are interested in that one-to-one -one mentorship make sure you check out the link in the video description down below it'd be good to have a chat um, good to meet you casual friendly chat um, to see what's what see where you're at see if i can help you achieve those goals um, and like I said, it's a process for those people who are serious about making dropshipping work. So if you have been researching for month after month and you're just waiting for a reason to pull the trigger, let this be your reason. Let's have a chat um, and see if we can get you to where you want to be. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.